And Maisie stands triumphant at the window, right, John? Yes, she's triumphant in every way. Maisie, Maisie. And she knows we were talking about her. She does indeed. She loves her new window and her special uh, rig to make it easy for her to get to her window. Mm. And she's she loves going out in the sun whenever she feels like it and having the control to come back in whenever she feels like it. And that used to be a problem. I think she always worried, well, what if they don't let me in? Mm -hmm. She wanted to go out, but then she'd be neurotic, like, what if they don't let me in? Now she knows. Really, you know, that little cat is neurotic. Yeah, she is. I think I finally figured her out. You have, Lena. And that's the way life is. Hi, John. Hey. I got to tell you something. Yeah, you're going to say that was a great flute solo. Lena just played a flute solo, a duet, with the Marshall Tucker Band on Can't You See? And if you don't understand, there's already a, a little flute in that song. But Lena harmonized to everything. It was amazing. Yeah. And and she also, I, you threw in, always in trouble. With, yeah, that was my fucking riff for that song. And that riff fits perfectly during certain parts of that song, actually during most of that song. Da, 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 and play that along with Can't You See. What that woman... And you you got to fucking... You take it on the... You take that shit on the road, baby. On the road, take that shit to Paris, really? Hell yeah. They'd eat you up with a spoon, love. Oh, that's nice to know. Listen, what are you up to? Well, I just shuffled and prayed and thanked Mother and Father God for another day. I was under the impression you were with me during that, so I don't know what you've been doing. Oh, you still have to be like that with an attitude? No, I'm sorry. Don't hide your feelings with that tough girl thing with me, honey. I won't. You can if you want. I, I won't do it. Hey, Maisie left. Mm. When did she do that? <laughs> I know, but I had the camera on the window the whole time, and I got so busy talking to John that I wasn't looking at the camera. Mm. Don't worry, honey. Everything is great. All right. Another great day. Let's do a card for everybody. All right. We oh, so and then we played drums. Yeah, and that was fun. Yes. You're my hero. Really? My heroine. You are my heroine. You're my dope. Oh, I was, I'm your dope. And you're going to stick at that, that one. You're not going to go further. Than, for I go from heroine to his dope. Mm -hmm. Well, will you want another word? No, it's all right. It's fine. I am kind of a dope. <laughs> Aren't I? Let's do a card before I have to kill myself. Don't do that. Good morning, mother and father. And we have here my favorite deck, the deck that I start. This is where it all started, folks. Golden, gilded, whatever the fuck the name of this thing is. These are going to be extinct soon. And these are amazing cards. Why are you saying? Because I just know it. They're going to go out of print. Don't ask me how I know some stuff. You know why? Because I can, I can read your mind, baby. <clears throat> you think I'm blind there with my blinders on and, and filled with anxiety. We got the Eight of Swords here, by the way, folks. Mm. But in actuality, it's an incubation period. It's a going inward, whereas pretty soon the keys to infinity, hence the number eight, Pretty soon the keys to infinity will be yours for the taking and you will slice through with your golden swords. Mm -hmm. Any ignorance, prejudice, or bigotry, you slice it and dice it and toss it in the black hole. Right. And that's what today's Eight of Swords stands for. And I bet you didn't see that common, fellow tarot readers. See, it's really a very, very individual thing. You cannot, you really seriously cannot read for others. You must read for yourself. Isn't that so, John? Absolutely. You, I wouldn't, at this point in your ascension, no, you, you needn't have anyone read for you except, of course, Sister Sandy. Oh, God. You couldn't get my picture out. No, I said, no, you said I would be the next one to read. Look, I don't need my picture out. I'll be 
How about I be the number nine? All right, you can, not the skull above it. All right, all right, Sandy dear, you could be number nine. Yeah, I like that. Actually, I want to be live. Billy says I can borrow her face. Oh, all right, Billy is the the calico in the heart picture uh, over there, right next to the lion and the dog. Everyone knows who Billy is. What am I talking about? That's Sandy today. You know, you have the same piercing gaze. Mm. How would you read this? Uh, good morning, sister. Good morning. How would you... Hello, brother John. Hello. I wonder if anyone else in this apartment deems fit to say good morning to me. Good morning. Hello, yeah, you. What's going on with you two? Well, I, I'll tell you how I would read this card first of all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why do I, Lena, always feel like the joke is on me in this whole fucking, because it is so badly. You don't know shit, girl. Come on. This card means you're out of your mind. No, it no. This is a good, your reading was excellent. Give me a new fresh card, please. Please, please, please. I could never be mad at you. We are in the middle of the most exciting time of your life. Oh, happy full moon to you, sister. Happy full moon and brother. Yeah, brother and other. Other. <laughs> Your other. He's my other. Oh, mother. Yeah, mother moon. Mm. Hi, mother. Yeah, number 18, as you can see. I believe tomorrow is an 18. You believe. You believe. <laughs> The main thing is you believe, but uh, I want a card is all I'm saying. Sandy, go ahead. All right. Girls are in the house today. Ooh, everyone's hovering. Yeah, Linda's here too. Got to be fair. At this point, everyone is just like, they just want a, their voice to be propelled into this vibration. Can't blame them. Hi, Linda. Hi. Yeah, it makes a difference. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I feel good. That's why he wants you to lay down. Right. Anyway, you just did an amazing drum solo, and also that flute was uh, amazing. Oh, you know, I just really feel a lot of energy coming from everywhere when I do this music. So, you know, and you and don't worry about don't worry about anything. Okay, All right. Linda McCartney. She'll, uh, okay, first things first. Sandy, how are you reading? Well, just happy full moon. It's wonderful. And I don't forget to bring in the snail, Christopher. But he has to bring in the statue. The statue of the snail has to come in tonight. Last night was the full moon. Right, yeah. Happy full moon to everyone out there. Everyone. Every motherfucker in the vicinity who hears this. Happy full moon. And even if you don't hear it, I'll still say happy for moon to you. You all right, Lena? No, I feel a little tired, but now the card, please. All right. I'd love a radio reading, too. All right, Sandy. But Mother was supposed to get this one, but I'll take it anyway, because you forgot Mother. Don't forget. The devil is trying to make you forget Mother. No, no. This card is means I'm just kidding. All right. Don't, well, don't, don't worry, Lena. Oh, my God. Oh, she's jumpy, isn't she? She's a little squirrely. I'm not squirrely. Stop it. Don't talk to me like that. No. Well, no, that's John. Kind of. This is what's been going on with him. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So you get what I'm saying. Right. And it's all good. Okay. He's, he's, he's the good. He's, he's the good kind of fun. All right. Stop being afraid. I'm not afraid. Whenever I feel afraid, <laughs> I hold my head up high and whistle a happy tune, and no one really knows I'm afraid. <coughs> Paul McCartney, when he was arrested in Japan, the, the guard, he started whistling, like, nervously to himself, but amazingly, he's in a jail cell, and he starts, like... <laughs> Like coming up with a little tune of being fucking Paul McCartney and <laughs> and the guard is like no whistling oh Jesus Christ <laughs> Paul yeah Lena 
we've talked about my stint in prison. Mm -hmm. And that was real, what I told you back then. Yes, Paul told me his channel to me was so open, almost as open as John's because of the relationship I had with those boys because of John, right? Mm -hmm. That um, when he went to prison years later, oh, in jail, all right, whatever, what, however that went down, he was in jail for like 13 days or something. I don't know, fucking amazing. And they screamed at him. And But, but Paul told me, well, go ahead, Paul. I told her that... Um, I really, people marveled at how well I did in prison. Um, I was teaching other inmates and guards uh, English. People started learning songs with me and asking me to sing. Mm -hmm. And they permitted it after a while. Mm -hmm. And I, I got into the games and made up new games, like a type of handball. Mm -hmm. And... Um, a big part of why I did so well was because of my telepathic abilities with you. Mm -hmm. You got me through that. Your spirit got me through that. Like, you'll be out of here, Paul. Mm -hmm. So, and whenever I needed a minute to talk to anybody, I also had an incredible uh, telepathy with Linda but it wasn't the same as with you because you were John's Lena and you were all of our Lena's. Mm -hmm. And that tie never cut. Not really. Yeah, Lena, if I can interrupt. And they are part of the reason why it was so difficult to finally get the one channel between you and me back. Mm-hmm. Right, so this is why you were kind of, in the beginning, not really wanting me so much to talk to, especially Paul, right? Mm -hmm. But that wasn't ever your fault. I wasn't doing it for any other reason except I just needed... I really was afraid of... And you see how pushy he is. Yeah, he is pushy. As soon as Paul started coming through, it's funny. And not in a bad way, not ever. And I don't think it... No, <clears throat> it never did interfere, not this time. And, you know, I was, it was all very, a big misunderstanding. I, I, my own paranoia made it bad back then. Yeah. Yeah. People, you know, you get fucked up down here. This is a fucked up fucking place. Mm. Anyway, so yeah. So I, that made me feel good that I was able to help you through prison, Paul. Yeah. You know, you're like my, you're my sister. Like, really, my sister. That's what it feels like, you know? Mm hmm. Well, I take that as, like, such a big honor. I'll draw a card for you, Paul. Knight of Pentacles. You the man. Mm. Are you on a nice vacation right now doing nice... Real yeah, I'm, I'm trying to take it easy. Yep, yeah, please do that, would you? <laughs> She's always telling him to lay down, <laughs> lay down Paul. Because <laughs> it just... I can't even imagine... You're too good to your fans, son, but there, there's the Knight of Cups. There's Ringo. They're all like that, yeah. And those two nuts in their fucking 81-year-old 80, idi idiots. No, no. You said idiots, not me. You try to pin it on me more than you should, honey. I, I do it because it's you're there. Mm. Hi, Richie. How you doing? Very, very well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're doing exactly everything the right thing. And yeah, you still, you know, you you got to keep taking the, that zinc. Mm -hmm. It's not like other things. It wants to hang on bad. Mm -hmm. You got to be ever vigilant like it's a cancer with the COVID he's talking about. Yeah. You know, think of it the way you fought with Christopher. Right. With the cancer. Right. There is no, there. there's no going back to the old. You can keep those supplements running. Yeah, right. I got them. Mm -hmm. I'm all set. I told Christopher too last night. Start with the zinc. He's not. He doesn't have anything. He's not. He didn't get sick. But his brother has it or had it. I just found that out. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, how do you feel today? 
Uh, hi, George. Hey. Herman's here. Hi, Herman. Mm. Hammy and Judy. There's, uh, there's, uh, Lula. Mm. Lula Bula. Huh. Where he? Hmm. Toots. Petey. Other Petey. Miss, um, Clydesdale. <laughs> Finch the baby. Aw. Hi, Finch the baby. Barney and Clyde. Hmm. I keep seeing Toots. Hey, baby. Oh, wouldn't it be heaven to get a pair of bunny rabbits? I think I would die and go to heaven. Yeah. I was going to get him a friend, and then he died. I know, honey, but it was not meant to be. You saved him from a horrible, horrible death. He was going to be snake food. I know. Can you imagine this bunny was going to be snake food? Pet Smart was selling him in the snake department. Oh, my God. Do you want me to cry? Why are you saying this? I can't bear it. <laughs> We'll give to a bunny rescue today. That's a good idea. Bunny rescue. <laughs> Full moon bunny rescue. <laughs> good work, Lena. You know who never needs rescuing? Who? Snails. <laughs> you never see a snail rescue. <laughs> Save these poor creatures. <laughs> Somebody. These snails are fucked up. <laughs> Somebody stepped on <laughs> this one. We're trying to glue his shell together. He needs to go to a really caring home. <laughs> That's sick. I don't even want to think about it. Sandy. She's laughing so hard. Yeah. Sandy, pick a card. Would you, my dear? I'm well, it's about mother. You are a fool, girl. You keep forgetting mother. All right, sorry. Uh, mother, yeah, I can't deal with you, but I can. Yeah, so sorry about, yeah, huh, well. That's the way it is. Yeah, oh, gee. Uh, pick a card. Hi, Dad, hey. Nope, it's fine. You got to be comfortable. That's the main thing. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, this one. Well, this is like pray and mean it. Mm -hmm. Five of cups. Uh, and if it looks like uh, I'm, I'm getting an interesting vision with these cards this morning. That's what makes these ma really magic. They're all magical. All the cards are. But the imagery on this, you know, it's always something different. So, um, you know, you see out of the five of cups, three of them have spilled, but the guy has two left and he's praying, you know, for maintenance and, uh, at least don't take any more from me. Oh Lord. You know, I've lost so much already. Mm -hmm. but the only way to replenish those cups is to give away more than you think you have. Mm -hmm. And watch what happens. I'm not saying empty your bank account. I'm talking about in any way, emotionally, uh, volunteer work. And yes, small donations. You can do small donations. John said to me, you know, Lena, you worry that you that you donate to, to too many things when we give you a service to do. If you're so uncomfortable about your bank account, and you shouldn't be because you are provided for, but well provided for and have no worries from here on in, in this earthly plane, you could give $10 a day to someone and never miss it. You would never miss it. So is that such a big deal? And I'm like, no, it's not. It's not at all. Everything costs a million dollars now. Mm. So what is really $10 a day? So that's the advice out there. If a cause or a that something strikes you as, oh, I wish that wasn't the way it is, look into any charity out there. Check with the Better Business Bureau first that they're legit and then 
give them fucking ten dollars. It's the vibe that you're putting out. Mm -hmm. It's the vibe that you are bringing up. Money is meaningless. It is the gesture. It is the time. It is the effort to express the fact that you don't feel the world should be like this. And you wish there was more that you could do, but you will do this and just do it. And that's my service today. Amen. I'll give more service. What do you want to talk about? I want to tell you that you are the most magnificent creature that ever lived on the planet of any universe. You say the truest things. <laughs> Radio reading, radio reading. My John, my John, my John. Yeah, that sounds about right. What you say? You belong to me. What do you th What do you think of that uh, reading, John? Let me have a call. All right. You need to elaborate? Yeah. What is that card? Four of Cups. What is? What are you saying? What it means is that's me beneath the tree with my face facing upward. Yes. And up there is you, right? And I'm saying, come sit on my face, my beautiful angel. <laughs> Now you go. Well, I'll give my professional. Uh, I, that was my professional thing. Yes, it was. Four of Cups means take nothing for granted. Mm -hmm. Appreciate everything that you have. And the best way to show appreciation is through genuine gratitude. And the best way to show gratitude to God is to be of service to those in need. Mm -hmm. that includes the planet the greenery every little thing we do as some idiot I knew once used to think he could write a song sang still harboring that grudge eh? that guy was a retard that guy was a train wreck hi Dave Hale <laughs> ace of wands mm. that's Johnny and you want to get going yeah yeah, yeah. I want to have a little breaky breaky. What do you want to have today? Well, let's just start out with the juice and see where we go from there. But uh, good work. Chop, chop and all that. Sandy, did you want one more card? Look at this. If this was not a phallic symbol, honest to God. Good, Sandy. Did you still forget Mother? I, no. Didn't Mother do a card? Give her another one. Oh, mother, didn't you do a card? Let me, no, don't, don't waste everyone's time, Lena. Okay, this is you guys. Just have a great day. Six of Cups, that's your life path number. Have fun, enjoy. Have a great, uh, just a great day. All of you, enjoy it so much. And look, I think that I see a snail in this picture. Is there? There should be. There's a cat. He's holding a turtle. That's close. Yeah. Oh, and there's a rabbit oh, sitting by the little girl. Oh, my God, Lena. And that, that cat looks like Booba. Yeah. These cards are beautiful. Mm. Dad, did you want a card? Sure, why not? I'm never going to bust your horns. You're going to have to just want to deal with me. I, Dad, she's afraid. I know. She thinks I'm too great. She's right. Here I am, the emperor. I am too fucking great. But you know what? <laughs> You're pissing me off, kid. All right, I'm sorry. You're pissing me off. What can I do to make it up to you? All you can do is say hi. That's just it. Just include me. I'm, I'm, I'm like, all right, okay. Thank you, Father. Yes. You're welcome. Hey, you know, I wouldn't mind an extra card. Really? Or oh, radio reading. All right. Radio reading for a father. 
Well, what do we got? That's write that down, Lena. That's what we're gonna jam to later. Easy lover. Not only when I'm pumping you, you know what I'm saying, right? Dad, yeah, he's he's vul he's a vulgarian. Jesus was a vulgarian too. Look it up. Really? Yeah. Where am I gonna look that up? You'll figure it out. I am actually gonna look something up and find out that Jesus was a vulgarian, Dad. Yep. You fucking better believe it. <laughs> I won't call you a cunting whore because that's his job. Right. And she is. She's my easy lover. Mm. It's all right, Lena. We all understand. Yeah, I don't know what you understand, but I get you. John, so, you, yeah, we'll make a note of that one. We'll post it, and then I, wanted, I want you to jam on drums with that. You play, You do very well with Phil Collins songs, that style. I know, and it's very good for your shoulders. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do easy lover. Thanks, Dad. That was great. Yeah. You'll find that every time you call me in or rather have the brain, right, have the brains to invite me in, like, right, that my reading will be like unparalleled and like perfect. Because like, isn't that now the best fucking song you could be jamming on? Yes. When are you going to learn? All right. I don't know, Dad. Are you dismissing me? No. All right. Lena, he's joking around. <laughs> I don't know what joking is with this with this crowd. All right. We're just kidding. We love you. I love you, too. You can put my card down. I'm afraid to. Look at how that thing is shining off his wand, even. Oh, you don't want to mess with this. All right. <laughs> They're just alike, John and him. Mm. I love when she tells me that because he's the coolest guy. He's the way I feel about mom. John feels about dad. Yeah, I'm totally, totally gay for dad. Da John is gay for dad. And I'm not gay for mom, but I'm like totally in love with her mm -hmm. and in awe of her. Right. See, this is the way you're supposed to feel about your parents. Right. But you don't necessarily want them hanging around all the... But then when they do come around, it's like, oh, God, they're so great. Why don't we have them every time? You starting to figure that one out? Because maybe they're busy. You ever think of that? I don't know. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> you call it, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do it. What are you going to do now? I'll take one more call as long as this bed is such a bloody mess. All right. Sandy, thank you so much. I still want to come in. I know. You're still here. Yeah. I, well, I guess there's no denying that one. Right. Ten of wands. The guy is laying on the floor. Ten of uh, swords. He's exhausted. He's had it. There's like a deer standing on his head. Not really on his head, but. If it did stand on his head, he would, he's so tired he wouldn't know it. If a deer was standing on its head with its pokey little claws. Right. He's so tired he wouldn't know it. Exactly. That's well said. Tom Waits, hi, how are you? I'd love to come in sometime. All right, I wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind to do a nice guitar song with you if you can get one going. All right, we're going to jam with Tom Waits, and we're going to, we're going to, that's on our, our calendar, right? Yeah, I'm going to take her away from you guys now, so. All right. Love to all. I love you, Johnny. I love you, Dino. Come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> 